Closing the windows, yeah, the curtains. That's definitely gonna keep the evil witches that just split into seven out. Oh God, why do they move like that? I don't like it. Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, aka GeekXX Chic, and we are back with another episode of Agatha All Along. We are now on season one, episode two, which is called Circle Sewn with Fate slash Unlock Thy Hidden Gate. So we are back to the old timey-wimey <laughs> titles, a combination of both, I suppose. But yes, in the first episode, we were introduced to where Agatha is now. She does have her memory back. The spell has been broken with the help of a former ally, an enemy, we're not sure yet. But either way, she now has an idea of where she is, the amount of time that has passed, and that she is completely powerless. So she now has been given the objective to get her purple magic back. And as soon as she can, because whoever came and disrupted her home has threatened to tell someone or a group called the Salem Seven of the fact that she is awoken from her spell and where she is. And so my guess is that they're coming to, you know, let's just say I don't think it's going to be a happy reunion. So Agatha now has this mission and I'm very interested to find out how she's even going to begin to get her power back and exactly how much power she's going to be looking to get because we know that she's a power thief. So I'm interested to jump into this episode and we see where we're going to go. So let's do that. But just before I do, if you'd like to be in the know of when I drop these episodes, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you will be in the know. All right, that out of the way, guys, let's get into the episode right now. <laughs> Have we all asked ourselves that question at some point? The road will give you the thing you want the most if you make it to the end. And I can. I will. Why didn't you ask old, um, goth girl? Okay, so confession, I know an egregious amount about you. <laughs> That's why I saved you from the spell you were under. No, <laughs> it was, it was my pleasure. Oh, that's what he was, so the chanting was real. I was right about that. Power is what I'm missing. Sounds like it's what you're missing too. Boy's got a point. Nope, too risky. <laughs> Who are you? My name is Wayne. Hmm. Say again. I'm the evil child. Interesting. So you're someone special. So someone put magic on him. He must be someone important. <gasps> Wait, she had someone who was. No, it's us. Yes. Oh, for delusion core. You're driving. She's like, untie yourself. There was a bedroom with the boy last episode. I forgot his name already. Is that who met? Maybe this is who this is. Because why would she have a boy that she was mourning? <laughs> That's a bit harsh, sis. I mean, you started it with Wanda, to be fair. There will be a collection of witchy enough people to form a coven. Can you actually jot that down for me? There's a pen to go compartment. Am I your secretary now? What? Uh, yes, perfect. Right out, out the window. Exactly. Excuse you. Right. Oh, did you want to take that? You know, it's... it's <laughs> Good. Rude. The youths these days. Good day, madam. Oh, is that the mom so from seeing us. Life Goes On? And we miss him something awful. And we surely would love to commune with him today. Mm. But to be quite frank with This lady you, knows you're full of it. No. Don't laugh in her face. You've been under the influence of another. Someone you hurt. They took your agency for three years. That's very specific. But you survived. In a way, few do. In fact, that's why you're here. Okay, she's legit. And I am not interested. Your bank statement will say Lilia's leggings, but that's <laughs> just my side hustle. <laughs> Love it. What witch in her right mind would join Agatha Harkness's coven? <gasps> Not looking for right-minded witches as it happens. Right? I kind of need you to be a bit crazy. Witches like you are the reason people think we poison apples and steal children and eat babies. I mean, only on special occasions. Oh. <gasps> I have 
apologize. You don't look a day under 450. Years old? No months. Where's your power now? Time to restock. I need a divination witch. Look, you gotta love Agatha. She does not let anything dim her shine. Oh, please. Name a badu bitch in South America. Or Europe. Who is this child? Right? To risk my life on the witch's road. And if we're successful. When? If Exa we're successful. The mindset. To turn around and steal my power. About that. Momentary lapse. I can't steal your magic. Unless you blast me with it. All that power. Yours to keep. Well, she's telling the truth. She got Wanda to keep hitting her. The path you're currently on leads nowhere. Ooh, she's quite the Try salesman. Us. Ew. You're going on that road. A list of four names. Looks like you've got your coven. Leave me out of it. Okay. You're on here. Useful. What? You can't even read your own writing. That's hilarious. <laughs> Be there at five. Plenty of street parking. The flare of the scarf. Very demure. Who's next? Uh-oh. Probably not a normal crow, right? Nothing's ever just what it seems. You're being watched. Agatha? Excuse me. What? I'm 400. I don't think you get to call me Agatha. It's Miss Agatha to you. Sister! Especially because you do have to burn them before ingestion. It's an FDA thing. But also, mandatory Zen time. Hey! Did she just say she put eggs? Whoa. I'm fresh out of marbles and my pelvic floor is all over the place. <laughs> God, Agatha. I haven't seen you. By the way, I think she was just saying she sells drugged candles. Why we lift the binding spell that has kept you magicless for the last what? Century? You look amazing. I know. Black don't crack. And now you're powerless and exposed. How far are you falling, witch killer? Oh! At least I'm still a Truth witch. Though. Oh. Another child sacrifice? Oh! The charge has a surprisingly lenient penalty, just like payouts and maybe like five years in prison, but 800 counts of it. <gasps> oh! It starts to get a little like me! Oh. Not him becoming a complete blackmailer. If you value your freedom, join us here tonight. He learns fast. You gotta give him that. Take a jade egg to go. You'll know where to find him. <laughs> no, I don't think she will. More spice. I know I have an aesthetic, but what are we doing here? Just shoplifting. Mind your business. Alice Wee Gulliver. I'm Agatha Harkness. This is my familiar Toto. We need a protection witch to join us on the witch's road. I'm dying! What if you could finally answer the question that has been haunting you for most of your life? What happened to mommy? Damn, that's probably the most realist reason out of all these witches so far. I kind of don't want her to do it just for that reason. Tough nut to smash. Crack. <laughs> Where are you from? Me? Originally, I mean, I was born here. Yeah, this is definitely the kid that w that she was trying to... Whoever the kid was from last episode, Nicholas. I think it's him. So whose spell is this? Ooh, love the outfit change. She's got the purple. The hair is done. The makeup... Fierce? Indeed. Now a wolf? Okay, well that's pretty ominous. A crow? Okay. A rat? Ew. But this, this is pretty direct. <laughs> that is a sign. <laughs> Bless him. Let me see. Maybe if I, uh... I'm just gonna rip it right down. Put it a little more to the... Other. You haven't figured Agnes out yet? Yeah. Come in. Right, Agatha? Okay, well, whatever it takes. <laughs> Jennifer Kale, potions. Lilia Calderu, divination. You're bound. And you need a chemical peel. Damn! Which is indeed. Earth magic is arguably the most important skill set for an attempt okay, at the Okay, so why is she avoiding the earth witch exactly? It wasn't a name. It was a heart. A heart? A black heart. Oh, her ex. I love 
the black witch's outfit. Oh, have I commented on how beautiful your garden is, Rachel? Well, no, you have not. I thought it was her ex, because she said I have a black heart. And it beats for you, but maybe, okay. I think I'm just, I'm going to grab my purse. Oh, a party. Oh, oh. Bless her, be nice. Okay, she really is a witch. So, um, are we doing laundry together? Oh, Get your head up bless you. That's not the kind of party I would stay for. I'd be out so fast. All aboard? So who's going high? Right? We need to make sure we harmonize. Get off me! Ooh. Tell the road to all that's foul and fair. You better let them know you're from Broadway. Darkest hour. Okay, she's going low. Burn and brew it, coven true. And this blend! Didn't even practice. Ever forward. Um, close the door. I mean, there isn't a door. Just back away. Standing with this little bunny. You've got to be kidding me. Go home, Herb. For the love of God, lock the door. That's... Yeah, go... I don't know why you were still in the road. The seven are here. Quickly. Right? That seven... Oh, they don't look happy. Well, thankfully, they don't move quickly. Closing the windows. Yeah, the curtains. That's definitely going to keep the evil witches that just split into seven out. Oh god, why do they move like that? I don't like it. They're gone. Of course they're gone. Run away, little man. Okay. <laughs> She's just having a ball. <laughs> but of course the sister had to add some ad libs. Yes. She's like, we gotta we gotta put a little seasoning on this. Did it work? Or did we just sing a great song? Someone record that? Well, if she wasn't so pitchy. Says the voice flatter than a pancake. Uh she went low! I would go back to the basement, even though you're not supposed to be there. I don't know. Oh God! Oh God! What a team of rejects. Coward. She's getting them angry. She needs the emotion. Enough! You need to shut up. Go to hell. Make me! <laughs> I love that. The voice. Oh, I don't have time for this. Just blast me, you bitches! <laughs> if you started with that, that was the witch's door. Never mind. Was that there before? Nope, it wasn't. Let's go. I thought you wanted to be a witch, sir. You don't seem to have the metal for it. Huh. Heart really is a witch. Is this the road? Because we should really, really go like right now. No, thank you. Exactly. This is exactly what my sister said. That's all I need to hear. Screech, I'm out. Oh, God, why are they moving like that? That's not healthy. I was about to say, you want to wait and see if they can open it? No! And they're coming. They can open the door, too, no? What's gone? Well, guess you're on the road now. Yay! The lighting's interesting. Something tells me that when she went down the road the first time, she probably betrayed every last one of her coven to get there. Hmm. The witch's road just couldn't have been like a nice tropical rainforest with a well-prodden path, huh? Had to be this. Gloomy, kind of dead. I mean, it looks enchanted at least. I feel like he's not supposed to be there. Like Damien levels of not supposed to be there. I never doubted us for a second. <laughs> she didn't actually. Well, she did. She knew they had power at least, but she wasn't sure if they could do it. Okay, I'm loving Mrs. Davis. All right, guys. Well, that was episode two and things are starting to get interesting. This was a lot of fun watching Agatha and uh, the teen, I guess is his name at the moment, go and recruit these other witches in order to get a coven together. Very much a, uh, if I was using, I don't know, video game terms, this is a pug, a pickup group. <laughs> she doesn't really want to do covens. We saw from what little we learned of her back in WandaVision that she's not really a team player. She's more of a, I take all your powers for myself kind of person. So as we can see in the witch community, Agatha does not have a good reputation. She's known for being selfish. She's known for being heartless. She's known for betraying people. So understandably, these witches really don't want to mess with her. But of course, all the people that were on the list that the one witch who has the power of foresight gave her, let her know that like all these witches are witches who have lost something or have something to gain by going down the road. 
So we see we've got the girl with the foresight. Apparently her powers are still there, but they're kind of janky from the looks of things, right? She keeps barking and making these these, these noises and, and, you know, talking like she's talking to someone. So my guess is maybe there's some, you know, veil barrier issues going on there. Then we've got... Uh, the wonderful uh, black lady, her names slipped, their names will come to me. But anyways, um, our beautiful black queen who is bound. We don't know why, but her powers are bound. So she's not able to actually practice witchcraft. Hence her business that I'm pretty sure she probably started back when she did have witchcraft is not working and she's trying not to go to jail. And then we've got the blood witch, AKA the daughter of a real witch, uh, who is our um, beautiful girl with the with the hair. I can't remember her name already. I'm so sorry. I will get the names by next episode. But yes, she, her mom apparently tried to go down the witch road. That's the story, but she never came back. So she doesn't know what happened to her and she wants to find out the truth. And then we have no idea what's going on with the garden, with the gardener, um, Miss Hart slash Davis. <laughs> I love that actress, so I'm glad she's there. But I'm wondering if she actually is a witch or if Agatha really just brought the four of them down there because they specifically said the black heart of a, a witch or the witch with the black heart, something along those lines. And we know last episode that the girl who found Agatha, who she was fighting with, said, I have a heart that's black and it beats for you. So I just don't feel like that connection was made for no reason. I feel like that was the witch that was supposed to go with Agatha, but because obviously they they hate each other for some reason. She didn't want to contact her, but I'm thinking, I mean, she's a great gardener and her name was Hart in the, in the witch world. So maybe she is a witch. I don't know. We'll find out soon enough, but either way, we didn't, she's the one person we didn't see spark up when Agatha was prompting everybody to get them upset. So we'll have to see, but either way, it's kind of funny if she really is just a human that's tagged along. <laughs> And then yes, we have this mystery of the teen. That is the big mystery. We see that Agatha asked him his name twice and he is not able to, well, she's not able to hear it. We see that some type of magic shows his mouth being distorted. So she can't even make it out to like, you know, sound it out, you know, what to read his lips. She couldn't even do that. And then when she asked him about where he was from to talk about himself, it's like she was going deaf. She couldn't hear anything. So clearly there's something there. And again, I don't know if this is something that Ag Agatha has put in place or somebody else has put in place, but someone is somehow keeping this boy's identity from her. It could be him as well, because like I said, if we don't know the truth about him, yes, he's coming off as very cutesy and very innocent, and I'm just a magic geek, but I think we've watched enough of these shows to know that that's very rarely the case. He's probably putting on an act. He could be putting on an act. Maybe he already is a sorcerer, and he's found the perfect opportunity to get Agnes to take him where he wants to go. So I don't know. That's one kind of out there theory that he is in fact maybe a bad guy that is in a place he shouldn't be. There is also the possibility he really is just innocent. But as I've been saying last episode, we saw that when Agnes was still in her delusion, she went to a bedroom and it looked like a little boy's bedroom. And we saw the name Nikki, I can't remember the last name, but there was a boy and in WandaVision, Agatha didn't have, seem to have any family. She didn't have anyone with her. The only person that she brought or <laughs> brought into her life, AKA Wanda's was her brother, but that was not anybody to Agatha, right? That was somebody to Wanda. So point being, I don't know who Nikki is and the way it looked, it very much looked like she believed Nikki was her son or maybe at least a family member, but either way, a young boy was somehow there and then not there. So. I'm wondering if this boy is, this teen is Nikki potentially, and what Nikki is to her, why that Agatha had some type of an emotional connection to whoever this was. So yeah, well, let's figure out what that mystery is because we still don't know. They're not letting us know anything about him so far, but that makes it for a very interesting reveal, I'm sure later on. But yes, we see that the coven, the scary, scary coven did show up at the end, but they moved very plot conveniently slow. Um, <laughs> I mean, if you can just like spread out and walk all sideways and, you know, the children of the ring sort of way, I don't see why it took them so long to get to the house and then took them equally long to enter the house, which has no magic around it, and then even longer to get to the basement. So yeah, I don't know, it was kind of comical, but digressing, clearly, you know, they had to leave. All the witches didn't even want to find out what, this, what the coven was about or what the seven were about. They all decided to open, go down the open door, I should say, 
and uh, follow Agatha down this potential road. So we'll see what happens because Agatha has been down the road before. But as I was saying in the episode, I have a sneaking suspicion that the first time she survived it was by betraying the women she went with. I don't know. I just feel like something like that went down. But I feel like we're going to learn a lot about Agatha on this road. I don't know if it's going to be uh, multiple. I don't know if we're going to have this road for multiple episodes, but it'd be interesting if they use this trip of the road to give us more insight into Agatha. And I really want to hear about the other witches to some degree as well. I know that they're all kind of side people, but it'd be interesting to hear a little bit of their backgrounds and like how they got to where they are. Like, I want to know why the black girl is bound. I want to know why the psychic is kind of out there. Like what's going on there? So many questions that need answers. And of course, you know, we need to find out about the boys. So, so yeah, the adventure has started and I'm very invested in figuring out how it all ends up. So I enjoyed the second episode a lot and I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please show some love and I will see you in the next one.